Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer. Today, we're sitting with the mayor of Tiga K, Chris Gray, and this is going to be the beginning of many more opportunities to sit and learn about what's happening in Tiga K. But first, I have a question. Have you been thinking about buying or selling your home? If you have, then keep it simple. Call Carmen Miller. Or you can visit carolinahomesearch.com. You'll see lots of beautiful properties right here. And also, you can check out past episodes of Talk of the Town, Carolinas. Well, you ready? Let's get to know the mayor of Tiga K. Congratulations sitting with the mayor, the new mayor of Tiga K, South Carolina, Chris Gray. And so tell us a little bit about what the plan is going forward. Well, the plan is going forward, uh, what we were emphasizing on our campaign. Uh, we want to, to develop Tiga K responsibly. Uh, we want to help provide uh, for our seniors. Uh, we, we're trying to, to take care of, of TGK and to clean TGK up. Uh, you know, there's several programs that we've got going on. Uh, one of them, which is, is up and coming, that we're working on is called the Access Transportation Program. Uh, what it does is it provides transportation for our seniors, uh, handicapped folks, to their doctor's appointments, to get groceries. Uh, and, and currently myself and, and Tom Aldette, our FATS committee, uh, are working on that program to see what that's going to look like for York County, for, uh, for Upper York County. Uh, right now we don't have any programs like that at Fort Mill uh, in TGK. Uh, so we want to provide that for our seniors and our handicapped folks to where they can get back and forth where they need to go. Uh, that's awesome. Was mm -hmm. that something that was a project already in place or is this something new that you are continuing to grow? Rock Hill has had it in place for several years. Mm -hmm. um, the, the problem that, that we've had on the, on the upper half, if you will, um, the upper half of the river being, uh, is that we, we never looked at developing a program like this. So um, there are federal monies, there are C fund monies that are available, uh, and currently where we are is we're, we're exploring as to what the matching is going to be for the city. Uh, you know, I ran on, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so with that, we've got to figure out what that, what the, the money is the logistics what, what of it's it. going to take. Yeah. Uh, so whether if, if it would be something that we could do in-house in TUK or something that we want to collaborate with our fats and those guys on uh, to get that done. Another thing that Tom Audet and myself have been working on with our fats is uh, getting some painting done around here. Oh, Everybody yeah. knows damn road will beat the fillings out of your out of your teeth going down it. <laughs> so we uh, we managed to get about 3,800 feet procured for us to pave on Dam Road. So oh, we'll be taking great. that from Gardendale down to the end of Dam Road as far as that 3,800 feet will get us. Uh, because we do have another project that we're working on and it's TUK Main Street. Okay. Um, so TUK Main Street. Wait, a Main Street? A Main Street. Like a, like like a, a traditional Main Street? Like That's something that, I mean, you know, TUK's never had before. That's right. So where will this be? Uh, well, we're, we're looking at putting it right between, uh, it's gonna be a kind of a collector street between Stonecrest Boulevard and Dam Road. Okay. So there's uh, there's about a 55 acre parcel there that uh, we we dubbed it Game On. Uh, game On was Game Off for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so what we're looking to do is we're looking to go in number one and get rid of the environmental hazard in the junkyard, uh, develop that into uh, some nice single family homes, uh, and then Main Street itself we're going to have to start is going to have about a hundred thousand commercial square feet for retail shops, restaurants, local businesses. Uh, with that, uh, our previous council, two councils ago, voted where we could build 165 townhomes and 210 apartments. A mixed use. A mixed use. Okay. Uh, with that, that wasn't the best deal for TDK because what could happen is the developer comes in, builds 210 apartments, 165 townhomes, and he walks away. Mm -hmm. And doesn't give any more value to our community than that which in my opinion is not a whole lot of value. That goes back to what you've said all along, if it's good for TKK, making TKK better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that commercial space, we can, with the PDD that we have, we can actually go up to 700,000 square feet of commercial re retail if we see that that needs to happen. Uh, if it does, we've got it there already. And of course, when you talk about retail, that means uh, better tax for mm -hmm. citizens. It, it keeps the tax, there's a balance in the tax yes. in which we pay. Yes, and so one of our main goals is to not raise the millage rate. Okay. 
Uh, we, we've not had to raise the millage rate in 12 years, and we don't want to start making that a habit. So with that, we have to develop our commercial retail sectors to where that helps to subsidize the impact fees that we're going to lose once all of our houses are developed. So we have to look to the future 10, 20 years out to make sure that TEK remains TEK and we're able to sustain our bubble, our way of living. Because you have limited, uh, you, you have limited land. So you've yes, got to be very responsible with the land and how it's developed so that it does work in a positive direction for the citizens. Yes. Uh, a lot of times our, our citizens, they don't realize that um, this land is going to be developed. Uh, I know that we don't want to build more houses. We don't want to build any more apartments. We don't want any more multifamily use uh, in anywhere in TUK. Uh, but this land is going to be developed. Uh, these, these folks that, that have the 55 acres, the 42 acres, they, they bought that a long time ago. And this is, these are parcels that their grandchildren have that they're wanting to sell. So those places are going to be developed. But what our responsibility is, is to develop them correctly. Uh, we don't want to have spec houses that come in and we put four or five hundred houses in in one area uh, and not put any commercial retail. It doesn't, it doesn't lend itself to being more together. And so Main Street is in the middle of TEK mm -hmm. and we're looking at that to bring TEK together. So these great ideas, I, I love them. What kind of timeline are you looking at? When you talk about the pavement, for example, mm -hmm. um, it's it's procured. Mm -hmm. When can it be done? When will it be done? Well, uh, Dam Road, we're looking to have that done mid to late fall. Okay. Uh, possibly by the end, end of the, definitely by the end of the year, yeah. we want to have it done. We've got Molokai also. We're getting a thousand feet of Molokai paved. Oh, nice. So right in front of the clubhouse where we've got all the spider cracking and, and the bad stuff happening. We're getting rid of that. We're going to have some more paving there. Uh, and all of this is done with no incurring of debt to the city. Nice. Which is stuff that we need to do. What about the park? The park. Uh, Catawba Park is scheduled to be, it, it's on schedule, so we're, we're scheduled to be open uh, right early fall. Uh, so we're going to have a great time opening that. It's going to be a beautiful park. Uh, we, we are pushing um, an initiative to where we can get tournaments for softball, baseball, soccer uh, to come in and help, help us pay the rent. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, we're, our developments are, are catering, we're catering those kind of details for our development like Main Street uh, to feature a hotel. When you start, you know, really talking to the residents here and seeing the bigger picture, what does that look like as well? Uh, when I talk with the residents in TEK, it's all about family. And you know what? I'm, I'm so glad you said that because that's what I hear from TEK as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like managing in a way where it, it is productive, it is uh, uh, fiscally responsible and affordable, mm -hmm. but there's also such a connection between family and friends and mm -hmm. neighbors. You never want to lose sight of that. No, you don't. That's, that's what TEK is. It's, and it's safe. It's all about family. We, uh, we've got a new police chief. Chief Crosby is doing a fantastic job yeah. with our force. Um, to, to help us remain safe. He's got a lot of initiatives that he's putting forward, a lot of ideas that he's putting forward to where it will make TEK safer. One thing that I'd like to say though, if, if you see one of our officers out or one of our firefighters out, our EMTs, give them a hug and tell them how much you appreciate them. It goes <laughs> a long way. Bring it in, bring right. it in. It goes a long way. <laughs> okay. And I can guarantee you that our folks would appreciate that from everybody. So. What about people who maybe are new to the area or just want to stay involved? A lot of decisions, especially mm -hmm. as it relates to development, are, you know, before we ever see something in action, have been in the process of the planning for years. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for keeping up? Well, we've, we've got um, several commissions and committees, mm -hmm. uh, one of them being the, the planning commission, which at our last council meeting, we voted in some new folks for all of those committees. Um, I would say get, get with those folks. Okay. See what they need help on. We've got a new committee that's coming up. It's uh, going to be our um, Park and Rent Ad Hoc Committee. Oh, okay. Uh, so what we're going to need is suggestions from the public as to what they want to see in the parks, uh, what they want to see from our trails. We've got some ideas, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't have a plethora of ideas. Uh, and we want to make sure that, that we incorporate everybody's ideas as, as we can mm -hmm. to best suit the community. So awesome. with that, you know, contact the city. Uh, we've got our, our city website mm -hmm. that you can, you can go on. Um, the other thing that we've got too that we really need some help on 
is our Service Saturdays project. Uh, what Service Saturdays is, is we've got older folks that are in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got widowers, we've got single moms, single dads, we, folks that just need some help on, with yeah. their houses. So we've got the volunteers. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the people that need the work. Ah. So if they will go on to the city website, search Service Saturday. Okay. Uh, it'll pop up, yeah. click on it, and then there's a form for folks that, that want to get some work done at their house. That's fill out great. the form. Fill yeah. out the form. You got your honey do list. That's right. We're looking for uh, viable candidates for us to be able to do that that's work. Fantastic. We have got plenty of, of volunteers already yeah. online, but we need we need some Connect. places to go to work. Yep. So please help us. Wow. Work. Okay. Um, Can I give you my address? No, I'm just kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just absolutely. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with, I guess, this uh, first update with us here on Talk it of is, the Town? So we and appreciate that. Wanna, I want to just uh, tell you guys that I really appreciate uh, you guys doing this for us. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, something that the city needs. Uh, just to stay informed mm -hmm. uh, as to what we're doing. I appreciate you mm -hmm. and the time that you are giving mm -hmm. to make TKK what it is and even better than what it has been. We've also got a newsletter that Tom Heislip is, is putting forth each month. Uh, you can get that on the TKK bulletin board. You can get it on Tom's uh, Facebook page. Okay. Uh, you can also get it on Tom's website, which is highslip.com. Okay. Um, we're also gonna try to incorporate that into the city's uh, webpage as well. Uh, it's just, this month is our our first stab at it, so be patient. We're we're working on the uh, working on the bugs out. <laughs> so, but it's a very informative newsletter. Tom does a great job with it. Um, if you got questions, mm -hmm. refer to that. Uh, I also want to tell everyone that if they have a problem, if they have a question, email us. So if you got questions, if you got concerns, if you got uh, if you want to jump in and help, please email us. Mm -hmm. Call mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Text us. That's right. Uh, we've got all kinds of means of communication. Fantastic. Just Lots of things going on. Absolutely. Good stuff happening. Yes, ma'am. Right here. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you for you. taking the time, Mayor Chris Gray of TKK. Thanks. That rhymes. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. If you're thinking about buying or selling your home, keep it simple. Just call Carmen or visit carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there, you can see lots of beautiful homes in the Carolinas, including the North Carolina coast. That's right. Find your beautiful beach home simply by calling Carmen Miller or checking out carolinahomesearch.com. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.